Hey everybody! Today my objective is to sharpen blade on Miller Falls number one spoke shave and it will be experiment. So hopefully it will work and hopefully the blade will be good. So let me start. First of all, if you're not familiar with the spoke shaves, it's a really, really interesting tool. With a spoke shave that have a flat sole, you can actually do a lot of job for, for flat surfaces, like to round over to do some various profiles. If you do convex surfaces, it's also pretty good. You can do a little bit of concave, but then you get basically hitting limitation of the flat bottom. This spoke shave has very, very small curvature, uh, but it really didn't work for my project. Uh oh, it's not working. Or I use a different spoke shave. So this is where the Miller Falls number one cigar spoke shave. So I can actually get to all those curvatures. I really, really can get inside. Again, the construction of this spoke shave is really simple. It's handles and they both detachable. And there's a, the body and then there's a blade. The blade is quite more challenging to do anything about. And you have to sharpen it like this way. And this is the back one. Well, 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 well. If your blade is in really bad condition, like mine was, I uh, actually had a lot of a chip out on the edge, you actually have to grind off that edge until you get a very smooth material. So this is the first operation. Uh, if you just resharpen it, you just can skip this part. Yeah. Now you actually need to sharpen the edge but you have to be very careful in what kind of angle you're sharpening. I actually did a lot of work sharpening this one uh, using the original angle, but it ended up being not correct angle. Uh, I eventually did a little bit of reading online of old manuals and additionally did a little bit of modeling and actually found out that you need to have a very shallow angle to make sure that the heel of the angle is not touching the wood when you're cutting it. So as you can see on this model, you have to have this angle. And if you have a different angle, as you shown in this model, uh, you're simply not gonna be able to cut. And this is what I actually experienced. Okay, so apparently my first attempt kind of failed. There's a little bit of um, thing that I messed up. There's a very tiny sole for this spoke shave, and then there's an edge, and then there is a bevel. Problem what I'm facing now, my bevel is too high. Whenever I try to put something on, it just doesn't allow this clearance to actually engage the blade. So I suspect if I do from the corner, I will be able to do a tiny cut. Like if you do really from the corner. Yeah, so this is exactly my theory. What I need to do now <laughs> is actually pull up my grinder and make this angle much 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 shallower because this blade is very small in order to grind it safely you really need to create a small jig it doesn't really have to be very complicated i made it like in five minutes a small jig there's from a small piece of scrap uh, but it was actually working pretty well now it's holding i will be able to use my grinder with a jig you can grind in normal way because you have a very big reference surface and you can just simply grind it as usual i don't know what exactly angle i put it so you can just do a little bit of try and error to do it right and of course you need to make sure that you don't burn the bevel so you either dip in the water or use cbn wheels that i don't have it doesn't take too long and you have a nice bevel and this is the result now i have a hollow grind for this one and i can simply very very quickly fix this part using the stones this is just like a regular sharpening. Uh, I went to the coarse, uh, fine and extra fine stone. Uh, for the bevel, it actually, uh, because you have a hollow grind, it's very easy to feel the angle uh, and you just have to be reasonably stable with your position to grind on the stone very, very nice bevel. Because my back bevel is really, really bad. I need to do something about it. I, I really need very small angle here, very small. Maybe almost no angle at all. This is a trick I saw in another video. So you basically take a stone, put a, maybe some kind of a shim and use your bench <laughs> or whatever flat surface as a reference. I see a huge burr on this side, so it's a good sign. In my case, I just used the stone and uh, with the rubber feet that in there that seem to give a reasonable angle and then just a little bit of polishing on a strap. Regular strapping on the front and use just a folded piece of leather for the back bevel. So assembly, and this is what I learned. The bevel should be towards the sole. So the other side doesn't have the sole. Tighten up, tighten up and check what is happening. Test piece. 
At this point, the spoke shift is working really well, especially on the flat surfaces, but there's a little okay. bit of trick and I'm not yet uh, know how to solve it for the concave surface. I think based on my model, this spoke shift is really designed for mostly flat surfaces. You, in order for this spoke shift to really work well on the concave surfaces, the bevel should be on the back or like significant bevel should be on the back. But all the documentation that I saw uh, suggests that there's only front bevel. So the one, uh, the sharpening method that I showed you is the correct according to documentation. Yet it's not allowing to do really concave surfaces. So this one, I'm a little bit confused or maybe surprised about the way this uh, cigar spoke shape should be used. If you know more about this spoke shape or what it's intended to use, whether it was designed for the concave surfaces or not, uh, let me know in the comments. I would be really interested to know. By the shape it should be, but uh, by the geometry on the model that I just did, it it doesn't really support the idea of uh, concave surfaces. Uh, but in any case, it's a really cool spoke shave um, and it's working right now, it's sharp. Uh, I may play with a little bit more bevel to make it a little bit more workable for the concave surfaces, but maybe not. Well, this Miller Fall spoke shave apparently way more complicated than I have anticipated, but it has very interesting geometry. Uh, but in any case, the basic sharpening of it you know how to sharpen. Uh, what is important part is to figure out the correct angle uh, for the operation. And I think I'm still messed up with th this specific angle and I'll have to figure out. Basically what it needs to be, the back of the bevel, like this uh, tip of the bevel, should not touch the wood. And then it will be cutting. If, it's cut, if it touches the wood, <laughs> then it's not gonna cut. So if you have a chance to get this one, I suggest you get it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you've already subscribed to the channel and maybe like the video. See you next time.